to know. In San Diego. And one of these gumshoes could find her. He's traveled in Europe and likes to do puzzles. Meet Devin Fatimura. She loves to ice skate and has visited California. Meet Lauren Lemonoff. He's taken a trip to Florida and enjoys playing chess. Meet Justin Spatz. And here's the senior agent in charge of training new recruits. Thank you very much. Hey, Justin, how you doing, man? Fine, good to see you. Kevin, how are you? Thanks very much, you guys. Hey, listen, they're with me every day. Rockabilly. <laughs> oh, yes. Just a quick reminder, you guys, you know, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get things started. Chief, who are we after? This is Robo Crook. Robocrunk. Has no grace, he's a lummox, built with two cast iron stomachs. His last known whereabouts? <phone rings> Cyberspace. Cyberspace is the place where people communicate over computer networks. And the mother of all networks is called the Internet. The Internet links thousands of smaller networks and millions of computer users in dozens of countries. People go online for everything from doing research to sending electronic mail to just plain chatting. You can even tour the White House on the Internet, all from your home computer. The possibilities are literally endless. Or they were until today. Oh, no. When Robocrook took a peek at an unsuspecting geek, and got an idea for a heinous, high-tech heist. <laughs> he blasted into orbit, <laughs> plugged into a satellite, <laughs> then intercepted the entire internet. The world's wire heads wigged when their monitors frazzed, and now every bit and bite are in that two-bit burglar's brain. Gumshoes! It's up to you to solve today's system glitch. Take a bite out of crime. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, trying to find Robo and the Internet to help you out. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. There they are. Anytime you answer a question correctly, I'm going to give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the most score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? So let's get things started now with our very first clue. Hey, Want to buy a watch? Chief, are those watches hot? You betcha. Now, isn't that a bad example for the gumshoes, Chief? I didn't steal them, Greg, but they are some of the hottest-selling watches in the world. Oh, quiet, you. See, Greg, this clock and these watches are telling us something. Uh, the time, maybe? No. It's quiet! <clears throat> Robo's in a country famous for making timepieces. I bet he's near Beale, where they made these swatches. Quiet! See, cheaper competition was hurting this nation's watch business, but Swatch... Swatch put them back on top with high fashion, hip marketing, and low prices. Now, some Swatches have even become collector's items. <laughs> gotcha. Well, that's one thing you can always say about the chief. She always gets her cuckoo. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Slovenia? Netherlands or Switzerland. Remember the clues that we heard? City of Beale, famous for making timepieces and home of the Swatch Company. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Trying to find Robo and the Internet. Once you're ready, hold those cars up nice and high. Justin is ready, so is Devin, so is Lauren. Justin, coming to you, buddy. What do you say? I said Switzerland. Switzerland. Lauren, what do you think? I also said Switzerland. Same thing, Devin. I, I also said Switzerland. Too. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody is right. Thank you. Nice job, everybody. Okay, for our next clue, we oh, now go... Greg! Oh, wait a minute. Greg! Wait a minute. That sounds like Scott out in the alley. Be right back. Hold on. Well. <laughs> Hello, Scotty. Hello, Greg. What's the word on the street? Greg, the word on the street is... Potlatch. Potlatch. That's a ceremony performed by the Haida Indians mm -hmm. who live in a group of islands off the coast of British Columbia. Now, the person who gives a potlatch shares his wealth, like artwork, carvings, and jewelry, with others. Great idea. Yeah. So, uh, who's giving the potlatch? Well, since you seem to be the head gumshoe and all around yeah. here, we thought that you would. 
That's a great idea, Scott, but, you know, I, I don't have any of the stuff that you were, were talking about just then. Well, and uh, share your jacket? Yeah, and your shirt, too. Hey, hey nice hey, pants, guys, hey, I could use some shoes. Hey, hey, hey. Wait a minute. Well, since we have a moment, hey, folks share their wealth everybody. with those who have done them favors. Watch or else to mark guys. important events like a house <laughs> raising or a death. Even family names are passed on, and those determine a person's rank in the society. Thank you, Scott. <clears throat> Uh, you know, guys, this is a great idea, the sharing the wealth thing and everything, but um, I have to get back to work. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Thank great. You. Thanks, Greg. Well, that's not quite. Just a... <clears throat> All right, Gumshoes, name the islands where Robo Crook went. Is it Channel, no, I call it a little tighter, Parabolov or Queen Charlotte? Thank you. No, I'll look around the other way. Th thank you. Off, uh, remember the clues that we uh, heard, off coast of British Columbia? Ouch, out, thank you. And Haida, people, and potlatches. Very good. Thanks a lot, guys. Get that all taken care of. Okay, come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Trying to find Robo and the Internet. Once you're ready, hold those cards up nice and high. Devin's ready. So is Lauren, and so is Justin. Justin, we're coming to you. What do you say, buddy? I say Queen Charlotte. Queen Charlotte. Lauren? I said Queen Charlotte. Queen Charlotte. Devin? I also say Queen Charlotte. Well, all in agreement once again. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, they are all right. Thank you very much. Now it's time for one of my most favorite parts of the show, the lightning round. Hit me. Hey, whoa, hey, woo-hoo, ah, 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 ah. <clears throat> Okay, guys, all these questions are about Robo Crook's most recent known whereabouts, which is British Columbia. All these are worth five Acme Crime Books, so hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Around 1900, and that's what it's going to sound like when they ring it. Okay, thanks a lot, Justin. Uh, first question, around 1900, British Columbia lumbermen used machines to drag logs from forests to mills. What did they call the machines? Was it steam donkeys, batmobiles, or power rangers? Devin. Um, steam donkeys. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Up to 75. Question two. In the 70s, a group formed in Vancouver to act and speak out on environmental issues like whale hunting and nuclear power. What is that group called today? Is it Greenpeace, Planet Patrol, or Nature Nerds? Justin. Greenpeace. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. 25. Last question, guys. British Columbia settlers blasted through Canyon Rock to build the 400-mile-long Caribou, uh, sorry, Caribou Road. <laughs> <laughs> what were they so anxious to get to? Was it a great ski resort, a gold rush, or a country western concert, Devin? A gold rush. Is right. Five for you. Nice job, everybody. This is a very close round this time, so uh, we're going to put all of our uh, heads together to try to come up with a thing here. Do you have anything to say to me, Chief? Anything at all? Greg, you come yes. into the office, please. We All have right. to do the contest. I understand that. That's what I thought was happening. Got to do the contest with the Chief. I'll meet you guys in the alley for some very important stuff there. Be right back. All right. Just, before you say anything, I just want to say this. You know, whenever you say Greg in my office right away, I just got to say, I love it when you say that because it's just so you, you know? Oh, well, yes, I suppose I do say that a lot. Uh, it, it, it's a classic chiefism. Yes. Well, uh, we better do the contest. Sure. Write down what got stolen and from where each time you watch the show. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here's today's winners. Congratulations to the winners. Did you see there? That's another one. That's one of those things you always say. Well, yeah, all right. I guess I do have a few chiefisms. <laughs> it's, it's like the thing you do with a magnifying glass, for example. Oh, you mean this? Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's classic. It is yeah, classic. Oh, yeah, I love it, too. And what about the time, uh, you, you, the way you used, to, uh, you used to jump up and down and cluck like a, like a chicken whenever you were just getting With, ready to nab a crook. Remember that? No, I, I, no, I don't remember that. I don't oh, remember that. Cluck, one of your cluck, trademarks. You were cluck, so famous cluck, for the way you used to cluck like cluck, a chicken. Cluck, 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 cluck. Yeah, I guess I do remember yeah, that. I used to call you old chief cluck, cluck. Cluck, I remember that time we got the feathers and we put them all on. Oh, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. That wasn't you. That was my Uncle Maurice. I'm sorry. That was my mistake. Hey, guys. Ready for a little training exercise, huh? Huh? Are you? All right. Come right this way. 
All of you pick a trash can. What you're going to do is help me hunt for clues that will help us find our crook. And what better place to find clues than right here in the trash can. What you have to do is you'll lift the lid like this. Oh, well. Wow. Very good. You'll go down here, you'll find a card that has the flag of the country we're looking for on it. It also will have a clue on the other side. Then to finish up your assignment, you will take the lid and put it back on top of the can just like that, okay? Let's see who can do this the fastest. On your mark, get set, go. Cheer them on, guys. Cheer them on. Trying to find those clues. Trying to find those clues. There's the first one. Get the lid on. There's the first lid. There's the second lid. There's the third lid. Nice job, guys. So it's going to go Justin, Lauren, and then Devin. Justin, you're the first one. What does your clue say? Capital. Capital. I can tell you the capital of this country is Paramaribo. Okay. Lauren, what does yours say? Location. Location. I can tell you uh, the one of the location. The location for this <laughs> place is, is the Atlantic coast of South America. And finally, Devin, what does yours say? Language. Language. An official language of this country is Dutch. So, Justin, you get the first shot at this. Uh, what country are you talking about? Is it Guyana, Suriname, or Uruguay? Guyana. Sorry, it's not Guyana. Lauren, you too get the next shot then. Uruguay. Uruguay? It is not Uruguay. Devin, what do you think? Um, Guyana, Suriname, Uruguay. Suriname. Suriname is right, Devin. Not way to hold back there, buddy. Can't have try much for you. Wait a minute, that sound means we have something coming in from Acme Budnet. Let's take a look at the phone tap. Robo, lay low on an island that borders the Coral Sea. Whatever you do, don't pet the birds. How can I get in touch with my warm human side if you keep me away from cuddly critters? You wouldn't want to get in touch with some Patohi. It's the world's first known poisonous bird. Contact with its feathers or skin causes a numbing sensation. Like watching reruns of Star Trek? More like getting pins and needles. Scientists thought the Patohi's bright feathers were meant to attract mates, but now believe they may be a warning against the poison. Which reminds me, Carmen, it's time to change my antifreeze. Okay, Gumshoes, name the island uh, where Robo has taken the internet. Is it New Zealand, New Guinea, or Sumatra? Remember the clues that we heard? Borders the Coral Sea and home to world's first known poisonous bird, the Pitohi. Come up with an answer as close as you can, guys. Trying to find Robo in the internet. Once you're ready, put those cards up so I know you're ready. And I know they're not ready yet because there are no cards up. <laughs> There they come. Justin's ready. So is Lauren. So is Devin. Justin, what do you say, buddy? I said New Zealand. New Zealand. What do you think, Lauren? I said New Guinea. New Guinea. Devin? I said New Guinea. New Guinea. The answer we're looking for is New Guinea. Nice job, Devin. Let's see how we're doing on the scores here. Justin has 75. Lauren is up to 80. Devin, 100. Acme crime. But, but here's uh, more good news because we found out that Robo Crook has left New Guinea. So let's pick up the chase. Back. Oh, hey! Thank you, boys. Thank you very much. Uh, as you know, guys, all these uh, worth our, uh, answers are worth five Acme Crime Bucks, so hands on your buzzers, watch the monitor, and listen very carefully. You okay? Okay. Here we go. Robo rode the information highway to Australia's capital, Lauren. Canberra. Canberra is right. Then he surfed the internet on the world's biggest coral reef. Name it, Lauren. Great Barrier. Is right. Next, Robo networked on, uh, New Cal uh, networked on New Caledonia. Sorry. What sea did he cross, Lauren? Coral. Is right. Then he zoomed to New Zealand's biggest city. Name it. Devon. Um, Auckland. Is right. Robo sped through cyberspace to so Australia's only island state. Name it. Uh, Justin. Tasmania. Is right. That means at the end of the chase round, Justin has 80. Lauren, 95. Devon, 105. Big round of applause, everybody. Just a quick reminder here, guys. All of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you, boys. Now, I need also need to let you know that now is the time for our final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. So, take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Robo Crook is headed. Take a look at this map and think about it. <laughs> Wow, think about it. All right, we're almost ready. Once you're ready, lay those cards right down there beside you guys. Here, bite and scratch. Robo ripped off the net, got the world in a fury. Laying low in the state of eastern borders, Missouri. Know a famous woman who was born in these parts. And that famous woman's name was Amelia Earhart. The first woman pilot in a plane to go. All alone across the whole Atlantic go. Yeah, Amelia was brave. Now you face the test. You got the gum in your shoes, so, so make the arrest. arrest. All right, thanks, guys, everybody. Yeah. Why not? Gumshoes, name the state where Robo has taken the internet. Is it Arkansas, 
Kansas or Illinois. Remember the clues that we heard? Eastern border is with Missouri and home state of pilot Amelia Earhart. This is the final clue of this round. Be careful how you decide. Once you're ready, though, take those cards right out. Make your decision now, guys. Take the cards out. Is it Arkansas, Kansas, or Illinois? And take those cards out and put them right down there beside you once you're ready. Okay, Lauren is ready. So is Justin. And Devin is still thinking about it. And now he's ready. Just lay it down right there, Justin. There you go. Uh, I mean, Devin. Uh, Justin, I'm going to start with you. You have 80 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30. 30 Crime Bucks. What did you say, buddy? I said Kansas. Kansas is right. Nice job, Justin. Very good. <laughs> Lauren, coming to you next. You have 95 Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 40. 40 Crime Bucks. What did you say, buddy? I said Kansas. Nice job, Lauren. <laughs> Takes up to 135. Devin, you're at 105. How much did you risk? I risked 40 crime bucks. 40 crime bucks. You look happy to me. What'd you say? I said Kansas. Nice job, Devin. That means Devin and Lauren can on the next round. Justin, buddy, what a great job you did. Put it there. We got some great stuff for you. Chief, you did great detective work, but that robo crook is one sly cyborg. So, to help on your next case, I'm sending you off with this official Acme gumshoe gear. You'll get an Atlas, this cool crime net cap with the Acme logo in front, the official Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and the all-new Acme Stealth Pen Quarter. It's the latest from Crime Net Labs for writing and recording messages. Writing and recording messages. Congratulations! Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, Robo has gone to Kansas. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to get there ourselves as fast as we can. So we're going to modem ourselves. To do this, you got to take a really deep breath. Greg, oh, yes, are you and the gumshoes ready to modem? We are ready, Chief. Let's do it. Deep breath, everybody. <laughs> Nice job. Walk over that way. Come on, let's go. Okay, guys, you know where to go. I go right over here. The chief will be up here momentarily with some very important information. So let's find out what it is. Chief, what can you tell us? Okay. There are 15 places here in Kansas where you might find Robo Crook, the Warrant, or the Internet. Yes. Let's look at a few of them. Start your search in Dodge City. In the 1800s, it was known as the wickedest uh -uh. little city in America. The Boot Hill Museum, shown here, recreates those bad old days with coach rides, showgirls, and daily shootouts. Next, blast over to the Kansas Cosmosphere and Space Center. Check out the largest display of space suits in the world. Make a giant leap for mankind and catch Robo Crook here. If you're a Wizard of Oz fan, check out Dorothy's house in Liberal. Of course, Dorothy is a fictional character, but someone built her a house anyway. <laughs> I guess they have a lot of time on their hands in Liberal. Finally, these are Acme undercover agents. They're dressed up as buffalo, but they're actually bison. Would you believe it? Bison passing for buffalo. The things we can do with disguises nowadays. That's your briefing gumshoes. Go canvas Kansas and stop that cyborg cyber theft of cyberspace. Will do it, Chief. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, you know how this works. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Devin, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Geographical center market. Ah, yes, the geographical center marker. The exact center of lower 48 states falls in this pasture. Let's see it, guys. Nothing there. We turn it back around. <laughs> Laura, what do you say? Mount Sunflower. <laughs> Mount Sunflower. <laughs> Nothing there. We turn it around. Devin, your turn. Old Countdown Museum. Old Cowtown Museum. <laughs> I don't get that. We don't either. Okay, we turn it back around. Lauren, your turn. Santa Fe Trail Tracks. I've been there myself. Santa Fe Trail Tracks. Greg says he's been there. Yes, that's true. And I can tell you this, uh, that uh, these have the old uh, ruts there from the wagon trains. You can still see them there. Quite exciting. Nothing there, though, so we turn it back around. Uh, whose turn is it? Uh, Devin, go ahead. Eisenhower Library. Eisenhower Library. We like Ike, but no. <laughs> turn it back around. Lauren, your turn. State Fair. State Fair. Attention State Fair shoppers, but no. Turn it back around. Devin, your turn. World's longest grain elevator. Yes, folks, it's the world's longest grain elevator. Mm, I'm sorry. That's Robo. Robo. <laughs> Surprise <laughs> rock a bell on that one. That's Robo Crook. Nice job. You're going to get a free turn, but remember, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Devin, go ahead. Geographical center marker. Geographical center marker. Nice strategy, and the boys are with us once again. We turn both back around. Lauren, go ahead. 
Gage Park. Gage Park. What wall? Nothing there. Turn back around. Devin, your turn. Hutchinson Salt Mines. Hutchinson Salt Mines. Wop up wall. Nothing there. You know my grandparents live there. Just point that out. Uh, Lauren, go ahead. Kansas Space Center. Kansas Space Center. <laughs> Nothing there. We turn it around. Devin? Boot Hill Museum. Boot Hill Museum. No. No. We turn it back around. Lauren, your turn. Kanza Prairie. Uh, Kanza Prairie. Nap Network. Nice job. You have the loot. You get a free turn, Lauren. Smoky Hills. Smoky Hills. The Warrant. You, Lauren, have the loot and the warrant. Do you remember where Robo is? World's longest grain elevator. Is Robo still the world's longest grain elevator? Robo. Yeah. Put it in, pal. You know what to do. Just shaking your hand. There you go. Nice job. Go over there. Pull the chain. Put him in jail. Robo Crook in jail. Nice job, Lauren. We'll talk to you just a little bit first off. Devin, great job. Great detective work. Great stuff coming your way. Chief, what do you say? Good detective work is a team effort, and today you made a huge contribution. That's why I'm awarding you all this great Acme gumshoe gear. And you'll receive two of these Acme secret senders. That means you and a fellow gumshoe will be fully equipped to zap messages to each other through the air. Plus, you can store phone numbers, even use it to control your TV and VCR. It's a great gift for a job well done. Congratulations. All right. Nice slide, Chief. Okay, here it is. Your portfolio inside is a piece of paper and a pen. What I want you to do is open it up, write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. Boys, start the song. <laughs> Wonderful. We'll be with you in just a little bit. Just hold on. We're, we're getting this exactly right. Very good. Now that we know where you want to go, all we need is a phone call to let us know where Carmen is gone. There it is. Oh, hey, look at that. A puppet. Thank you, Mr. Puppet. Hey, hello. Yeah, she's right here. Hold on a second. We just got the phone from the puppet. There you go. Hello? A virus has infected my system software. It causes me to divulge Carmen's location. You'll find her in North America. Please don't say that I sent you. Okay, Lauren, now that we know where to find Carmen San Diego, let's get some details from the chief. Chief! Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Alaska, USA. Yukon Territory, Canada. Ontario, Canada. Minnesota, USA. Lake Erie. USA, North Carolina, USA, New Mexico, USA, Arizona, USA, Chihuahua, Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, USA. Craig, let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> You know what you're doing, right? Yeah. Let me explain it for those who may not know. What you have to do is identify eight locations in 45 seconds. When you are right, you'll hear the sound. When you're wrong, though, you'll hear the sound. When you're wrong two times, don't worry about it. Leave the marker where it is. We'll continue on to the next one. But if you are right eight times in 45 seconds, you're going to get that trip. And, Lauren, don't forget this. When you see one of these like this, an arrow, we're talking about a body of water, okay? Any other questions? No. You ready to go? Yeah. You know you can do this, right? Yeah. You guys know she can do it? Come on, let's do this thing. Come right back here, grab the marker. Let's get 45 seconds up in the clock. Make a lot of noise for it, guys. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Come with the Durham, North Carolina. North Carolina, go, go. Do it, buddy. Yeah, let's go. Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. Go, buddy, go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Minnesota, Duluth, Minnesota. Come on, here we go. Yeah. Anchorage, Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. You got it. Yeah, send one Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Here we go. Hold on. Hey. Let's go. Come on. Lake Erie, Lake Erie, Lake Erie. Whoa. Get out of the way. Yeah. Cross from Yukon Territory, Yukon Territory. Yeah, we're not Ontario. Ontario, hurry. Kingston, Ontario. Let's go. Let's go. How you feel? Great. Absolutely great. Come right over here. Come right down here. 
A while ago, you and a parent are going. A while ago, you wrote down where you'd like to go. You and a parent are going to. Let's get California. How do you say it? That's what happens. How you feeling? Great. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Well, she sneaks around the world From Vienna to Carolina She's a sticky finger culture From Berlin down to Belize She'll take you for a ride On a slow boat to China Tell me where in the world is Come in San Diego Steal their soul in South Korea Leave it in the crowd right on the floor From Mogadishu to Glen Finish, gum shoes always eat their spinach. Geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.